Good morning everyone. My name is Parikshit Narwadi from grade 9 and today I am standing before you to explain to you about chemical reactions. So, we know that chemical reactions is a process in which one or more substances undergoes a chemical change and either absorbs or releases energy and forms one or more substances as products. So, the substances which undergoes a chemical change are known as reactants and the substance which is formed after a chemical reaction are known as products. Generally, there are four types of chemical reaction that is chemical combination reaction, chemical displacement reaction, chemical decomposition reaction and chemical double displacement reaction. So today, we the students of grade 9 are going to explain to you about chemical displacement reaction and my friend Parth is going to explain to you about chemical double displacement reaction. So today, we have copper sulfate that is CuSO4, a compound as a reactant. Which is uh, the it contains copper, which is a less reactive metal. This we are going to add with iron, that is Fe, which is more reactive than the copper. So now, as you can see, this test tube contains iron granules. And this is the copper sulfate solution. As you, everyone can see, it is blue in color. And after we add the copper sulfate solution with the iron fillings, it, the chemical reaction will take place, that is the displacement reaction. As it is a very slow process, it will take some time. In this reaction, as you can see, the black color iron fillings has been changed to reddish brown color because the copper sulfate uh, which contains the copper is displaced by the iron fillings. That is the iron which is more reactive than the copper displaces the copper from its solution and it forms iron sulfate that is FeSO4 and the copper which has been displaced from its solution is deposited on the iron fillings and forms reddish brown color. Now we are going to repeat the same process but instead of the iron fillings we are going to take the zinc granules. As everyone can see, the zinc granules are greyish white in color. But after the chemical reaction, the color may change. It is also a very slow process, so it will take some time. After the chemical reaction, the copper is uh, also displaced from the copper sulfate solution and the zinc which is more reactive than copper, it displaces, it, uh, displaces the copper sulfate and forms the zinc sulfate solution and the copper which is displaces gets deposited on the zinc granules and form and uh, the zinc, uh, zinc granules which are greyish white in color turns into blackish black color. This shows that a chemical reaction has occurred. Now, I would like to call my friend Park to explain to you about double displacement reaction. <laughs> 